welcome back to being Sharon on this channel we talk about life in Turkey being black in Turkey being a foreigner in Turkey and if you want to do business in Turkey I can help you do that you want to buy textile contact me I will help you do that okay you want someone to take you around when you come to Turkey contact me I'll take you around so that's what this channel is about life in Turkey food culture everything so yes if you're interested in that kind of stuff stick around and also if you haven't subscribed subscribe to this channel and let's be friends let's be family let our YouTube family grow I'm just going to talk about a few things um, commonly asked questions and yeah I'm just going to try to explain everything as in as much detail as I can okay one let's just start first things first my name is Sharon and I am from Uganda Uganda is in Africa East Africa for that matter so yes I live in Istanbul okay <laughs> I live in Istanbul so yeah another thing that I get asked is what do you do are you a student here are you what are you doing okay, so I am not a student in Turkey I have actually never studied in Turkey okay so but I just know a few things about being a student here because I have friends who are students scholarship non-scholarship masters bachelors so yeah i know about that and another question that i really get asked a lot is uh can you are africans able to study here is it safe for foreigners in turkey yes turkey is safe for foreigners you can come and live here you can i don't know whatever you want to do you want to live here as a student you can come and do it do you want to work here you can come and work here do you want to come and do business here in turkey you can come and do it so do you want to live for long short term long term it's possible okay so yeah and uh do they discriminate against like um, blacks or if you're not a muslim no so i have done about a video about being black in turkey like about talking about are Turkish people racist? I have a video. Maybe I'll just put it up here or here or in the description box so you can check it out. Okay. Uh, another question is what camera do you use for recording your videos? Guys, <laughs> this has been asked like 100 times. <laughs> no, I am joking. This has been asked and I get lots of compliments like my video quality is good. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You make me smile if you tell me like that. <laughs> anyway, so what do I use for recording? I use my phone. And right now, actually, if anyone calls me, they can't talk to me because I'm using my phone. I use my phone and it's a Samsung Note 8. But it's, I don't know. The quality is very good. I'm just happy with it. <laughs> also, don't ask me why I'm not using a, an iPhone. I actually don't like it and I think iPhones are overrated but that's my thinking so yeah I can buy it but why would I do no <laughs> and another question is that I'm asked is can you ship to uh, the US can you ship to here where I can ship to the US if you buy from Turkey but if you're buying it should not be the fake designer clothes if I have to ship like to Europe the fake designer um, goods they always return them like I've done it before but they never accept them at the custom custom never lets them in so unless you come yourself and take them in your luggage or whatever and then go to those countries but shipping them sending them by cargo 
they are not accepted unfortunately but if i'm if you want something else as long as it's not one of those labels if it's something else yes that one I, that one i can ship for you okay so yeah if it's but if it's uh louis vuitton chanel and all that stuff gucci i can't ship it okay but if it's africa yes i can ship to africa okay and the rates actually depends on how many kilos they are if it's to the us and if it's in africa it depends also depends on the country so for your specific country you just come to my instagram and then i'll give you the details like if i'm shipping to ghana this is if it's uganda it's this price if it's us it's this price like that okay the other thing is that i'm always asked is how much do you charge to shop for someone or to take them around so i charge 50 dollar per day i charge 50 dollar i take you around from morning till evening five o'clock six o'clock sometimes it goes till seven o'clock because most of my clients you know when you're shopping sometimes the time flies when you don't know so that's what i charge okay 50 dollar per day because remember guys it has it includes my transport from wherever i am coming from and sometimes most clients don't even have the istanbul card and when we are moving i will have to use my istanbul card you know and of course i'm using my money and also most clients when they take you around they don't buy you lunch they will buy for themselves and eat and eat and they just look at you so yes also it includes that amount like 50 dollars includes my lunch my transport it also includes walking around and the most important thing guys when we are buying these things they are usually heavy things because i don't know i buy for people who like i usually like things are usually heavy so i'm carrying with my hands on this side on this side and then also the person is carrying you know to take them from one place to the next one so yeah it's a lot of work and then walking you know if you know istanbul it's a bit hilly or steepy from going up and down so yeah 50 dollar is enough actually i should charge more but because i'm being nice i'm charging 50 dollar but if you ask me maybe in may june it will be more okay you should think about that before you tell me oh you should give discount that's a lot of money you're charging hey and also this money is the same amount like if i'm i have to go to the shops and buy for you the things it's the same thing i'm charging the same amount of money because i still use my transport i still use my everything like i carry the things so you can't say oh for me you're just buying you're just going there to buy for me i'm not coming so you should charge me less no it's the same thing i'm going to the shops i'm buying the things i carry i carry them take them to the cargo blah 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 so it's the same amount of money it's 50 dollar okay another thing that i get asked is like how should we make an order how should you should make an order is the first thing is I have pretty many videos on this channel showing you the clothes dresses shoes bags so from those things you see please those are the kind of those are the kinds of orders that i'm looking for don't send me pictures of ski i don't know you're sending me pictures you got from i don't know an american website and you want me to find for you in turkey please no this i will tell you i don't go to shop to a shop to take for you pictures and then i'll send you then you make up your mind it like i realize that when you do this most of the people are not serious you're going to send pictures 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 and then after they actually don't buy anything so this is what i deal with and i deal with serious people only if you want me to buy for you anything and you're not coming to turkey is I start from $400. You can send $400, $500, I don't know, $1,000, one, whatever you want to send. And then through Western Union, guys, it's through Western Union. But if you are in Uganda, there are other ways you can send the money because in Uganda, you, there are other ways. 
in Nigeria also, if you're in Nigeria, you can send the money in other ways, not through Western Union. So that one I can tell you. The other countries, it has to be Western Union, okay? So you send money through Western Union, I take the money, I go to the market, and then when I'm in the market, we are going to do a video call, okay? During the video call, I'm showing you the things because you've already told me you want this, this, this. So I'm going to go to those kind of shops and I'm going to be showing you the vi on the video call. You will also be on the video call. You choose with me together and we calculate how much I have spent, everything. We choose and then I take to the cargo if there is still time during that day because sometimes it goes to the next day because people are usually the orders are sometimes big. So then after I'll ship to you okay that's how you can do you have to send money if you don't send money guys i'm not going to deal with you because i am tired of people wasting my time like like they are not you send pictures 1000 pictures i actually i had lots of pictures now i deleted them i am here fed up okay you send pictures and they never make up their minds if you want me to buy for you you send the money first I go, I look in the market and you see for yourself on the video, you say, no, I like this and I like this. Can we take that? I want only serious people and serious people, please stay in your lens. Okay. And also if you're coming here, just let me know a week before, two weeks before so that I can schedule very well. But if I can't take you around, I have my colleague, she does the same thing. She can take you around so you could either be dealing with me or you're dealing with my colleague she is a very good person she also has experience she knows everything like she knows everywhere okay so now that that is out of the way and thank you to my amazing clients i have got some wonderful people from uh from youtube and yeah you guys thank you very much for trusting me for trusting me with your money i appreciate you so i i am even going offline i got some client from the us there was another one from nigeria and then there was another one from germany thank you thank you thank you one of them came the others sent money how long does it take shipping if it's uganda it will take a five days later because usually the cargo is sent on thursday or saturday or sunday so i will say now in simple terms i'll say between five to seven days but normally it's less than that okay if it's nigeria it's the same thing the cargo will reach you within three days four days five days maximum seven days okay one week the other countries it takes longer that one i have to tell you okay so basically, are you fluent in Turkish? I would like to say yes, I am because I can speak and understand. It's just that maybe I don't feel comfortable sometimes when I'm talking. You know how it is with a foreign language. So sometimes I just don't feel comfortable speaking Turkish. And then I get asked is a Turkish people attack people mean or bad to their workers like nannies and stuff no maybe there are there who are mean i don't know but all i know pretty much i know many people who work as nannies like i know many and they all say good things about their bosses like they be like oh my boss buys me this she buys me dresses he like they treat me very well they treat me like their own child or their own sister or they treat me like i don't know a member of the family really the ones i know who have worked for Turkish people they don't say any bad things and another thing actually i should tell you is that turkey is not an arabic country like this you should know and if you say something like oh Turkish people are arabs they hate it they will actually be angry with you like don't even say it like don't but they want people who are hard working that i can tell you 
but that is everywhere anyway i think those are the most questions that i get asked so i hope i answered all your questions and if you want to make any order you just contact me on my instagram and yeah i can we organize it okay anyway thank you for watching bye